Okay, so this is going to be a really simple project compared to a lot of the other videos on my channel. And that's because I just want to use it to set up the premise of a larger project that I'm working on that this project is just a tiny part of. So what this is, is just a really simple robotic leg that I've designed in SolidWorks and 3D printed. It uses two servos, so it has two degrees of freedom and that's rotation and lifting the end part of the leg up. So if I had about six or more of these legs, I could use it to create a simple sort of hexapod style walking robot. So the mechanism behind this is just a four bar linkage which is a really simple mechanism that's used all over in engineering and that's how I'm able to control the end of the leg using just one servo and having the servo not directly drive the leg itself but be placed further back into the base of the leg. So really I was just having a bit of muck about in SolidWorks and I came up with this design that I quite liked the idea of and I wanted to see how the movement looked in real life and then I started thinking about how I would program certain movement patterns and how you would get a more organic sort of walking path than in the walking robots that are currently out there. I'm going to use what I've learned in this little experiment to create a much better leg and hopefully I'm going to end up building a hexapod that's hopefully quite different to a lot of the ones out there. So once I had everything assembled and I wired it all up into an Arduino and I really simply just used the knob sketch uh, which is an example sketch in the Arduino library and then using little potentiometers I was able to control the leg and sort of visualize a simple walking pattern. Um, already by this stage I'd realized that, that having the stationary part of the leg as the first segment didn't really look right visually. Um, I think if there was to only be one moving segment of the leg it should be the, the base segment uh, which in this example stays still. Uh, because I feel like that would just be a more organic looking motion. I was really interested in how I could make the movement more organic and try and get into that uncanny valley zone which I strive for on this channel. So in the next part I'm going to design a much better leg uh, that makes use of some different mechanisms. I'm going to try and design a suspension system just using 3D printed parts and, and maybe a spring. 